Hello and welcome. This is a short video in response to Studio 326 project on the Gagger tube sensitivity to UV lights. I had this uh, cheap Chinese Gagger counter with a J305 tube to test. I didn't mind taking it apart for the video. My spectrometer is the Cyan Surplus I had for some years now. I talked about it in previous video doing calibration using XL and use it as an emission spectrometer to identify some simple chemicals. Anyway, my voltmeter can measure a thousand volt DC, so I connect it directly to the Gagger tube, and it appears the working voltage is set to 169 volts, which I thought was pretty low, but since the uh, tube is rated for 80 to 550 volts, it makes sense. My UV lamp is this uh, UVC fluorescent light, and the uh, spectrum show the mercury lines from 254 nanometers to above 1000 nanometers. I found this uh, spectrum analyzer version 1.97 free software to be a great free tool to import your spectrum in a text format and allows for a quick analysis, providing a decent calibration. Of course, this is a very cool software. I recommend you try it out. Link in the description. Even at this uh, low voltage, the tube did respond to the UV light in a dramatic way. Since I don't know much about electronics, I wanted a more controllable way to test this uh, little tube. So here it is. The high voltage can be regulated with this power supply and the pico amp meter measured the current at the other electrodes of the tube. Now if I set it to its original voltage at 170 volts, not much happens. Increasing to 200 to 300 volt did not generate a measurable response either. Only when I set the voltage to 400 volt did I get the expected response from the source. and from the UV lamp. The voltage is set to negative according to the markings and uh, it does work somewhat in reverse polarity but uh, nowhere near as good as this. Just for shits and giggles, the electric breakdown happened around 700 volt. So why the difference? Well, I forgot half the instructions. I did not make the high impedance probe. So I made one from a 200 and a one mega ohm resistor as instructed. The multiplier factor in my case is 149. So measuring the output of the Gagger counter yield the correct value of about 460 volt, which makes a lot more sense now. I'm not sure how this could be helpful, but Studio 326 is a dedicated experimenter with resources and ambitions. Thanks for watching.